Carmen and Samuelson. Carmen is a guy who Tim Flynn said to us, will he let one get away against Utah Valley's Jacob Armstrong last week? Well, Coach Flynn feels like he's close, like he's like just a little bit away from being able to put it together. You've seen flashes of really good things out of Anthony Carmen this year. He's got four major decision wins, that's second most on the team. Samuelson has won five straight, and in that five-match winning streak, three of those are coming against ranked opponents. Three-time NCAA qualifier. Keeps doing better and better at the Big 12. Second last year after two consecutive sixth-place finishes. Well, that's everybody's goal, right? Just find a way to keep climbing, keep getting better. It's In life and in wrestling, Tom. Yes, right? As we get into the philosophical. Be a little better today than you were yesterday. Absolutely. You can look in the mirror and tell yourself I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. All right, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> the whole generation of people that just yes. no clue what we're talking yes. about. To the wrestling in Carmen out of Glendale, West Virginia, John Marshall High School, Samuelson out of Castle Rock, Colorado. Shot for Carmen on the left hip. Yeah, not a great right shot, hip. right? I mean, it's just he kind of got in there, but he, it was almost like he didn't really shoot, but he grabbed it, and he's like, well, since I grabbed it, I might as well hold on to it. Samuelson doing a nice job of trying to get around to the corner, now has a leg up. Swing it a miss. And he takes him down on the 0-1 pitch. So now the issue is who's got their head up. Uh, you gotta maybe, watch maybe a danger here. Yeah, this wow. is two now point. Samuelson's got that cradle, though. Two-point takedown for Samuelson. Oh. Carmen's in a little bit of trouble here. If you would have paused live action for a moment there, it's like take your choice over which body part of Carmen's is in the most peril. <laughs> the neck, one of the knees. Possibly that long flowing hair. So Samson still got that cradle. And there he, there he finally pops it loose. But also now has a leg in on that far side. That's Kenny G here, to be honest. Maybe our producer Eric Lilly when he was in high school. Flowing mane like that. You think Eric Lilly had hair like that? At one point. Really? Huh? I'd like to see pictures of that. But now, it looks like he's got, does he have that cradle in again? I can't really tell from our vantage point. He's got, yeah, and he's got a chance to turn it. There's 17 seconds left in the period. He just showed you. He heard you. Yep. Appreciate the assistance. Samuelson had a win last week against Jake Thompson of Air Force, a 4-3 win. Not one that really impressed his coach, Mark Branch. At this point of the season, there's not much value to grinding out opponents the way he did. Of course, you want your ranked guys to be able to compete for those major decision wins more often than not. Well, especially when you feel like you've got a, an advantage in the in the weight class, right? So, it, you know, the, I know we look at it a lot of times. They're winning, but winning in 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 progress in the process of doing what, right? So, what yeah. is the we're winning in what way, doing things in what way, how are we wrestling, how are we really working? I don't think he's allowed to grab his toe like that. That's really illegal. It really is, but we don't have any. And there's an, it's gonna be an escape, potentially. Uh, Carmen could turn this into a takedown. Oh, he got in too high. Well, he's still giving him control, so he's still technically riding. The slide off the back in his neck. And Samuelson trying really to get himself a takedown, and he's got himself the reversal. Two points. Just very patient, gets himself in a good spot, and puts that leg in and try to, to, to crank and turn it over on the other side. And Carmen really hasn't had an answer for that. He's got to kick the leg free. But he can't let his hip turned all the way like that. It's a good job on top. Final minute of the second period. He's got a riding, chance to get this turn. The riding time has topped a minute now for Samuelson, so he's up 4-0 on two takedowns and just accruing riding time on So he's got Anthony the leg in his, yeah, he's got the hip turned, and so he's really trying to pull the, 
try to get the upper body to slide with it. It ha was almost there with that cross face. And really going for that bow and arrow at this point in time. So try to take that leg across, which gives makes it very difficult to to post and get your because it really what it does is it turns your hip. And there you go, that sideways across like that. Carmen may be saved by the bell in this period. Carmen did a nice job of fighting that off, but he has had no answer really being on the bottom against Sanderson. And this is one, if you were going to see West Virginia pull an upset, I think Tim Flynn probably would like to have had it here. You obviously want to have it anywhere, but maybe an opportunity here against someone like Samuelson, who has, as his own coach has said, wrestled down to some guys this season. Yeah, I don't know that, that Carmen's a guy he's wrestling down to. I think Carmen's a pretty good, pretty good wrestler and pretty good athlete. Oh, definitely. Samuelson really doing a nice job of attacking his legs, though. And, and, and what he's done is Carmen likes to do a lot of rolling and a lot of dive back throughs, but he can't get that and he can't do it. Right. I was not trying to knock Anthony mm -hmm. Carmen. That was more respect to the 15 next to Tate Samuelson's name. You said we, Carmen has had some very good moments this year for West Virginia. There's a look at Mark Branch. You think he owns a pair of American flag pants? Right. At one point, very well may have. Well, Samuelson has just buried him on the bottom. Carmen hasn't had any real answer for being on the bottom, and especially with that leg in. And he's, and he's got it kind of reinforced, right? So he's got to figure four his leg a little bit. And there's that cradle. So every right. time Carmen tries to get up, he keeps putting his head a little too close to his knee. And Samuelson's a bit long, too, so he's able to cop that cradle. Oh, that's, that's an advantage. That's an advantage that Carmen usually has on guys at this weight class is his length. He doesn't have it here. No. And you do not see he still has that cradle. You do not see many other wrestlers of the 184 class that have the length of Anthony Carmen. Still boatloads of potential, I think, for this Glendale, West Virginia wrestler. Yeah, he's just getting He's getting crushed in that sense. He's, so even in that, see, Samuelson gets nice and low, drives up and through him, right, and doesn't stop once he makes contact. And he's beating Carmen in the in the level change part of it. That's something we didn't see in a lot of the other matches where those level chains don't really happen, and they're kind of shooting into their hip and whatnot. Samuelson does a nice job of getting lower than that and driving up through. And, and, he, and that, that's what's helped, helped him get four takedowns in this match. Well, he's, three takedowns and a reversal. He's another takedown away from being in major decision territory, but he won't get it here. Five seconds left. Carmen, somebody that if he got hot and got it together for the Big 12 tournament next week, you wouldn't really be terribly surprised in two weeks, but a tough loss for Anthony Carmen to Tate Samuelson. The 15th ranked wrestler wins his sixth straight over Anthony Carmen and ups the dual score for Wyoming. 197 next to number two, Stephen Buchanan for Wyoming on Big 12 Now on ESPN+. Plus.